Hi, and welcome to the Hyperduino and MakerBit Workshop. I'm Chris Torrance. Today, I want to show you how to build the sample volcano project within your Hyperduino kit. To assemble the kit, you'll need the following items. The Hyperduino with the foam backing, a 9-volt battery, the volcano kit itself, which is two pieces of cardstock, the blue hole making tool, five backings for the five touch points, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, the rainbow cable with the red LEDs, and the rainbow cable with the gray block connector. Begin making the model by cutting along the dashed lines at the bottom of the volcano project. Then fold the model into thirds so that it'll stand up properly. Use the blue stick to punch holes for the LEDs here, here, and here. Expand the holes by pushing the blue stick all the way through. Now take your five touch points and poke them through the five locations on the card for the main vent, secondary vent, crater, the video, and finally the Plinian eruption. Once you've pushed the touch points through, turn the paper over carefully and lay it down flat. And then take the backings and stick them on each of the touch points to hold them in place. Now let's go ahead and we'll glue our volcano project down. Now let's add the LEDs and the touch points. Turn the model around and starting with the brown red wire, push the LED into the spot labeled L2. Only push the LED in up to the lip. Don't push it all the way through the card. Then the black white goes in L3. And finally, the purple gray goes in L4. Once you have those in, you can go ahead and do the touch point wires, starting with T2, which is the red wire. T3 is brown, etc. When you're putting the wires in, feel free to split the wire a little bit down the length just to make it easier to reach some of the longer ones. You'll end up with T6 over here on the gray. Now let's try out our kit with the Hyperduino. If you haven't already done it, peel off the paper from the foam pad and stick it onto the back of the Arduino to prevent scratches to whatever table you're working on. Then go ahead and plug in the block connectors. The black one should go into the first black socket and the gray connector for the touch points should go into the white socket. Finally, let's plug in our 9 volt battery. When we do that, the lights will blink indicating that everything is working normally. And now when I click on the touch points, the various parts of the model should light up. For example, the main vent, the secondary vent, and the crater. So how does all this work? In the Hyperduino, there's a program that's continuously running and listening for touches to the touch points. When it senses a touch, it automatically lights up the corresponding LED. For example, if, if I touch T2, it lights up LED2. The Hyperduino comes with enough room for 12 touch points and 12 LEDs. So you can imagine creating a large poster board with your project or a large diorama or model and then when you touch on various features, it'll light up an appropriate item on your diorama or your poster board. In this video, we've seen how to create an interactive project using your Hyperduino. In the next video, we'll see how to extend this to include video and other multimedia. Thanks for watching.